to think that iron is a crucial uh, trace element for uh, any human, in particular for preterm infants and SGA infants. They are born with very low iron stores and they need a lot for building up the muscles, the blood, but also for brain function. Mm -hmm. So when would you look like to start up iron supplementation in a, in a premature infant who is discharged from the hospital? and now is at home. When would you give this? Our practice is that we start iron at two weeks of age. And in fact, I, uh, we start iron in parental nutrition with the data that if you start iron early and keep iron sufficiency, then at three and six months of age, your hemoglobin status is much better because iron deficiency doesn't show up till much later. So we start at two weeks and at discharge, we send them home on iron and vitamin D uh, included in it will be some other vitamins, but that trying to get those two major nutrients into the baby until they start complementary foods. Is there, if, there's, if they receive human milk fortifier and the fortifier contains iron, mm -hmm. you, you don't give iron? No, we do, because the, the reason is you get so far behind in very sick babies on iron. <coughs> you deplete so much blood. And the amount of iron in the fortifier, we still have a safety margin. And since we do not, in at least in America, we don't have the genetic predisposition to hemochromatosis. Therefore, iron excess is really not an issue. Now, if I would have the same concern in other parts of the world, yes, because of infections with iron overload. But at least in the setting that we have, that uh, excess is not a problem. You mentioned already vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Uh, vitamin D should also be given as supplements and premature infants, SGA infants have higher needs than term infants. Correct. This is out of discussion. So how much would you give to premature infants? We are adjusting according to how much is available in the formulas. For human milk, we are giving everybody 400 units, so that's the standard. But in formulas, depending on if they are premature infant formulas, we give less. If they are not, we give more. We try to give between 400 and 600 units of vitamin D per day. And we have only, all these years I've done this, only found one true vitamin D deficiency where we actually had to give up to 2,000 units. But that's rare. That baby showed up with metabolic bone disease. And how are you giving this as a multivitamin? Uh, multi-trace element supplement? Right. The supplement we have is vitamin A, D, E, and iron. And we don't mix it with the feeding because babies don't like it and there's a lot of spitting up. And also, it uh, is better given just by itself. So you don't, and so we try to do it once a day and uh, don't divide the doses up. But like I said earlier, the compliance after the go home is a difficult problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you.